Hi everybody. So, as I promised in this video, we're actually taking the prototype of the landing light brackets that I made in the last video, and we're making the real deal. Well, we're mostly making the real deal. So, in the last video, we start working on these landing lights. As I've explained, Van sells a very nice lighting kit that includes the brackets, uh, but also includes lights uh, that uh, I didn't want, so I didn't buy the kit. And nor do they seem to sell the bracket on their web store. I could be completely wrong, but when searching the part number, nothing came up. No big deal. Hey, I'm an experimental aircraft builder. If I can't build a simple bracket, what good am I? No, what good? What am I saying? What good am I, even if I could build a bracket anyway? So, uh, what you saw me unwrapping was a nice big plate of 40 thousandths aluminum. Uh, 1043T3 to be exact. And so now I'm basically making... So you see the little uh, bracket right there on the desk. <clears throat> I'm just making two of those brackets right there without the hole cut out. Uh, as I explained before, uh, you know, these, these require to be bent twice in, in, a, in a metal break. Uh, those need to be bent before the hole is drilled, so making the brackets first. Uh, and on that note, I don't actually have a break. You might say, do you have a break? No, I don't have a break. Uh, but we've ordered one. So the break should be here hopefully by Monday, maybe Tuesday. It's a big bad break. It's a break, roll, and shear. So we're going to be able to do all kinds of things to the metal. It's going to be a lot of fun. Of course it's for the club. And here I am making the front parts. Now the prototype I made before was hideous. Absolutely hideous. This is going to be a little more Art Deco, kind of like with the plan show. There you can see it's not entirely squared. Looks more like a, looks more like the TV display from a mid '70s RCA television. And yes, I was saying that to age out a few people. If you don't remember what one of those TVs looks like, shame on you. I'm just kidding. You know what I'm talking about with the clicker. For anyone that doesn't remember the clicker, clickers, it was amazing. It was uh, it was your remote. And my grandfather had one because he had an RCA TV. And, uh, basically, the reason it clicked, basically when you clicked it, it was more or less, it was, it was, <laughs> it was generating a pulse of electricity uh, that was used to send out a radio signal to the television or infrared signal to the television that said volume up, volume down, channel up, channel down, or power. There was five buttons. That was it. And every time you made a click, that was basically like a magneto going off and uh, creating the power necessary to communicate with the TV. Ironic. My father actually... Well, it was my grandfather had the clicker. My dad, we didn't have a clicker. Instead, I sat by the edge of the television and my dad would slap me on the, se on the side of the head. Uh, right side meant channel up. Left side meant channel down. Anyway, so here I am. Uh, so I've got all the, uh, so I've got the the two main brackets built. I also have the two outer ones built, and I'm trying to use my Dremel here to cut a hole. So I I purchased some uh, drill bits because the last one I used, I, I cut one hole and then the drill bit died. So I bought some Dremel bits that I suppose I thought when I looked at them that I would be able to drill uh, to cut a round hole in metal. Apparently you can't. The ones I bought are. And so, here I am having to make a new bracket. I tried cutting a hole and it was it was a disaster zone. Absolute cluster fuck zone. Which is fine. It's going to be a week until I get it anyway, but it's perfectly good. Uh, so one thing I have done is uh, I've already gone ahead and drilled the holes for the four, um, for the four nut plates I'm going to need, which I will show you in the next video. Anyway, that's all in the next video. We'll be finishing up all of the landing light brackets. But, for now, a little treat. I got uh, stuck my camera inside my hoodie. I'm on my electric scooter. I'm going to give you a little tour of the old tees here at a beautiful Oakland International Airport. I think there's about 35 hangars over here. 
They are, they are, they are not, they're not ancient, but they are eld. There's a citation jet, just hangs out around us. I, I keep thinking that damn thing's lost. But for the most part, our existence is tolerated. I mean, Steph Curry's Gulfstream probably brings in more tax revenue than all our little puddle jumpers combined. Anyway, that's the ramp, and uh, next video, finishing up those lights, so see you soon.